Hello, darlings. This is part two of your inner drama queen's message to you. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darling. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth, directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine. Hold the breath to the count of nine and release your breath to the count of nine. Hello, darling. If you selected the red butterfly, this message is, is for you from your inner drama queen. So next I'm going to look at the other cards that I pulled for you from the <coughs> Angels and Ancestors. I really love these cards. They are really beautiful. And like I said, all the cards were pulled randomly and I'm just going to see which card you pulled. This wine is so nice and thick. So she is very beautiful, very beautiful. Let's see what her message is from your inner drama queen. It says she's she's the magic guardian, and it says unlock the magic within. Mm -hmm. You know when we when we really like chill out and kind of mind our own business and stuff, and hype up over things that really doesn't matter to us. I bet we can do a lot of stuff. So let me read a little bit. I want to read straight from the book because I like to keep the integrity of the message. Oh my God. She says, stop looking outside yourself and recognize that you have incredible power within. So again, I think when we're a drama queen, we're looking outside of ourselves. We're paying attention to what's going on with everybody and everything. And we allow allowing ourselves to get all hyped up. And she says, you are the magic. You are the answer. You have it all within. If you've been searching for an answer or a reason to focus, recognize that all that you are looking for is already within you. You are a powerful and magical person with a with the capacity to direct your intentions and will your desires into being. But your power can only be powerful when you own it. So take time to acknowledge it. Your ability to dedicate yourself to a goal and make it happen is a real gift that you are being guided to recognize now. So basically, um, she's saying like as opposed to being a drama queen and getting yourself hyped up and talk, you know, feeling like you have to you know, extend energy to all the things around you and go from one to a hundred no, focus on what's important to you because you are very magical and when we take our energy and we channel it towards our personal goals all of our dreams come true so I have another card for you from the magical flowers deck this is from get her in focus from tess whitehurst again let me see what card i pull for you the card we have for you let's get it in focus here and let's see what the message is who is this person oh yarrow yeah i'm gonna read what that means just going to give you the highlights because I don't want to like read a chapter, right? But I do want to see what the message is. So according to Yarrow, notice how the warrior in this image emanates the alert, confident relaxation that is a natural byproduct, byproduct of his meticulous vigilance and well-practiced expertise in the art of defense. Similarly, the divine energy systems around you are utterly reliable in their ability to protect. With them on your side, you need to experience a single, you, you need not experience a single moment of fear. So these are some of the messages um, that this particular, the Yarrow flower have for you. If you are concerned about anyone or anything, stop worrying. Drama queen, y'all. Stop worrying. Talk less. Remember that? Talk less and love more. I ask your body what it needs. So let me just finish. It says, if you are concerned about anyone or anything, stop worrying. Instead, inwardly release 
inwardly release the person or situation to the divine and call on protective energy and light to surround and protect so basically as opposed to getting all hyped up about what's going on in the economy what's going on with other people or just in general just getting hyped just give it to divine give it to god give it to uh, all that is how whichever term is most comfortable for you do not allow any person place or situation to drain you of energy mm. Woo, your inner drama queen says she is tired, child. She said, I am tired. Stand in your power and enlist the support of divine protection and love. You will benefit by surrounding yourself in protective light at this time. So your inner drama queen, she really does. She wants to retreat. She wants to, you know, surround. She wants to be protected. She wants to calm down. She wants to channel her inner energy inward towards things that are, that are really important to her. Um... And it says, call on the, on the divine in any way that feels powerful for you. Then mentally shield yourself in any other people, places, or objects or situations in a protective shield of light. So basically, um, you're just being asked to protect yourself, channel your energy inward, and uh, mind your own business, so to speak. Like, not just my, it may be your business, but not allow yourself to just let your emotions take control over you or hype a situation so i am going to ask ooh, this beautiful crystal cola star alien being if there's an additional message for you from your inner drama queen all right let's see if there's an additional message Work on your heart chakra. Find gemstones and affirmations that are going to help you connect with what's important to you. The reason you become overly emotionally attached to issues outside of yourself is because you are afraid to look within yourself and be responsible and take accountability for all the things that you want that have not occurred. It is so much easier to become emotional, overly emotional and upset over things that really aren't that important because they shield us from the deep heartache of unfulfilled dreams within our hearts and souls. We don't want to think about our childhood wishes, the dreams that we have dreamt for so long that have not come true. So please understand that when you are allowing your emotions to take over and your inner drama queen is getting upset and getting very excited over matters that are not important, it is really because she is avoiding the heartache of unrecognized dreams, of unrecognized fulfillment of wishes. Take a moment and think about what is important to you and only focus on those things. Meditate and only extend your energy to the things that are most important in a loving and patient way and you will find your dreams unfolding and find yourself in a much more joyous position. Thank you. And that is the message from the Crystal Cola Star Alien Being from your inner drama queen. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. 
If you selected the grayish blue butterfly for the message from your inner drama queen, child, this message is for you. So now I'm going to look at the other cards that I have for you from my my little beautiful. This is from I think this is the this is the An Angels and Ancestors Oracle Card Guidebook. I like to read from the from the the deck. Let me see the card that we have for you first. The card that was pulled with your hand is the this is summer. It's, it's summer. It says bask in joy and light. Ooh. So I'm gonna read a little bit from the book. This is you know basking in summer. It says rise up, open your wings and shine. It ties right back into your Jungle Beauty Goddess reading. Discover what you do better than most. Right? Discover what you do better than most. This is your path of prosperity. I think your inner drama queen is saying, look, child, I'm a little bit beat down. I, I really want to focus on and get hyped up about things that are important to me. So it says, rise up, open your wings and shine. Bring your projects and plans out into the light, into manifestation. Um, this is the perfect, perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Light has come to banish the darkness. Clarity is arriving. So but this is the whole thing about asking questions. Clarity is arriving to allowing you to know exactly where you are and how you can move forward. Remember what I said about the questions? Like if you're asking questions about certain things, ask yourself why you're asking questions about it. Just go deeper so you can figure out what it is you really want. Your inner, your inner drama queen really wants to channel the energy in to see what's important and where you guys are headed in the future. Angels and ancestor guys are encouraging you to enjoy this moment and not to rush forward because this is a time for pleasure, enjoyment, and expansion. There is a great chance that you have extra energy, creativity, ooh, that jungle beauty got a sign eye, and inspiration at this time. Notice what is coming to you as it is inspiration directly from the divine. So what you're getting hyped up about, what your drama queen is paying attention to, that may be a sign of something that you may want to you know, focus your energy on and, and really build a career or write a book about or start a channel about, you know. Uh, when the summer card arrives in the future position of a spread or anyway, it doesn't apply to us the last part because it was just, I just randomly selected it. So I got one more card for you. And this is from the Magic Flowers deck. And I'm just going to show it to you really quickly in case anyone may be interested from Test by Hers. Let's look at the card that was selected with your spread. Let's see what we have. She is, let's see. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, what is it? Hydrangea? Hydrangea. Hydrang, I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm doing my best job. So I'm just going to read a little bit from Hydrang Hydrangea. It says, Hydrangea is famous for her ability to mirror the acidity levels in soil with her gorgeous variations in color. In this way, she transmutes the delicate qualities in which she is grounded into breathtaking gradations of pink, violet, and blue. Similarly, on the level of vibration and wisdom, Hydrangea lets not the slightest ripple of emotion or, or intention go unnoticed, which is why she can be such a helpful and protective ally near any door. So take a lesson from Hydrogen Gia by taking a moment to tune into all the energetic subtleties of your question subject. Get clear on your boundaries and desires and allow only what feels right to you to enter your field. Shield yourself and your energy from anything that is not of a desirable vibration and choose to powerfully immediately transform anything that is out of integrity into pure positivity and love. And here are some ideas from Hygiene Gia. Allow only things that are of the clearest and most positive vibration to enter your home and life. Instead of feeling like a victim of fate, find the blessing within your current situation and transform it into a beautiful and divinely designed destiny. So basically, um, 
Oh, here's one more. Choose to see yourself as a victor rather than a victim. Take charge of the situation and know that you will always have the power to shift your life in the most positive and ideal ways. So basically, your inner drama queen is saying, let's take the drama, let's look at what we're focused on, and let's transform this into something meaningful. And if I had to pull all of this together so far, I would say your inner drama queen may be a critic. You know, you might write a blog and you might, you know, write movie reviews. You, But it seems to me like... The things that you're hyped about, the things that you're paying attention to, may be signs to you of something you may be designed to do or something that you will bring passion and fire to and do a really, really good job. I'm going to now listen to Ask Our Alien Being if there's an additional message for you from your inner drama queen. Let me take a moment to zero in. Is there an additional message for this person from their inner drama queen? Let your voice be heard. You have amazing insight and intuition about various situations that other people overlook. And because you are sensitive and well-spoken, people tend to call you a drama queen. But some of the greatest writers, speakers, filmmakers, influencers in general have come from people just like you. Do not shield your voice. Do not be quiet. Let your voice be heard, but make sure that it's that you focus on issues that are really important to you. Your gift is your ability to pay attention to what is happening into the world and bring insight to inspire, motivate, and help other people. Be proud of your voice. Be proud of who you are as a person. You are one of the few people whose inner drama queen should take a a bow on stage, should take a stand on stage, whose voice should be heard. Do not shy away from your inner drama queen. Let her shine, let her come through, channel her energy into something positive and productive. You will change the world. Wow. I didn't expect that, you know. It's like a pretty strong message for someone. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the pink butterfly for the message from your inner drama queen, this message is for you. So I have a couple messages for you from the, what is this? The ancestors, the angels and ancestors deck. And I pulled a card with your spread. And the card that we pulled, let's see, is, let's see what's going on with this card. It's from the hunter and it says, track down your fears and desires. This is pretty interesting. So I'm going to read the message from that. Um, It says, track down all of your fearful thoughts and feelings. When you find them, you will find your desires too. That ties right back to know that you are beautiful just the way you are and never apologize for loving with all your heart. So, you know, like when you love with all your heart, then this is just who you are, you know. Instead of being hunted down by your fears or other feelings that you have buried, become the hunter. You are being given confidence 
and strength at this time. So use your power to make a difference. You are not here to cower away or live in the shadows. You are here to realize your fullest potential, but this can only occur when you step up and do what needs to be done. When this card arises, there could be an opportunity to face an aspect of your past or bring closure to a situation that has been haunting you. If you are a man or identify as a male, this card represents your masculinity and an opportunity to know yourself more deeply. If you are a female or identify as female, this card represents your capacity to be strong and powerful and overcome limitations. So basically, oh, this is really good. Um, this card is pretty much saying that you have to come face to face with who you are and love yourself for being who you are, but also to know that you are lovable and, it's, and to root yourself into your, it, believe in yourself um, in the sense that sometimes when we are a drama queen and we want to be the center of attention, we, we our focus is, ex, is is outside of us what other people think like getting other people riled up talking to other people or getting other people all into our business but this card is saying you know your hand in general is saying look face your fears and know that you are powerful within yourself everyone doesn't need to be you know know every little thing that happens to you read as much as you can before asking questions like when you focus on you the is saying that a lot of abundance is like this other card was saying about opportunities coming your way. Money will rush towards you when you find your true self. You don't have to apologize for being the way you are, but figure out how to make your personality work for you. Your inner, your inner drama queen is really your friend, but you have to figure out when to let her, you know, do her thing. Like every issue is not something to be, you know, to be expanded on or excited about or to share with other people. And she says, know that you are beautiful just the way you are. We are just who we are because we love deeply. And it comes across as a drama queen to other people. But, um, you know, you're in a drama queen saying, let's dial some of that back so we can, you know, take care of ourselves and, you know, live the life of our dreams. Instead of worrying about, instead of blowing things up out of proportion that's really not that important, that will prevent us from living the life that we really want to live. I have another card for you from the magical card, magic flowers. <clears throat> and this card that I have selected for you, which are spread. But when I say selected, it was either a randomly pull from the deck. You have the lily. So the primary message from this particular card, the lily card, is release the need to control everything. And any belief such as, if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. Sometimes as a drama queen, we just feel like, oh, everything has to be perfect, has to be my way, or everybody else is inadequate, you know. But sometimes that's just our way of, you know, making ourselves superior, or I don't want to say that, but you know, you know how there are some people like, they're the only person who can do it right. So the universe is asking you, so just kind of relax and let go. Your inner, your inner drama queen needs to, you know, uh, maybe do a little more research. Ask for help. Ask, sorry, ask for help as needed. Help is everywhere for me now. Helpful beings in both the seen and unseen worlds about me. Everyone is always helpful. These are some affirmations. I now allow myself to receive the help I need. So basically... Don't feel like you need to do everything by yourself and um, allow your inner drama queen to, you know, to relax and find her place in this world. So now I'm going to ask the star alien me, <clears throat> Citrine. Is there an additional message for this person far from their inner drama queen? Mm -hmm. 
when you were a child. And you always wanted everyone else to be happy. You played the games that the other children wanted to play. People overlooked your feelings and what was important to you. As an adult, you began to feel unnoticed and disrespected. So you began to exaggerate events. Let go of the little of your inner child who is ignored. You no longer need to hold on to the pain of your childhood, the part of you that was seeking attention, wanting to fit in. Seeking attention from others prevents us from connecting to what's most important inside of us. When you begin focusing on the desires of your heart and the things that are most important to you, people are going to rush by your side to participate and give you the, the attention and the love that you crave. But you first must attend to that part of yourself. You must first give yourself the attention that you are seeking from others. So the next time, you want to share something or exaggerate a story, just ask yourself, ask your inner drama queen, what could we do different to bring about a different result? What factors are in our control? Ask yourself how sharing the information is going to benefit you in the near future. As you begin to tune into your inner emotions, you will see your life begin to transform and more and more people will want to be around you and befriend you because they will begin to treat you the way you treat yourself. So that is the message from the Citrine Star Alien Being from your inner drama queen. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the aqua blue butterfly for the message from your inner drama queen, this I'm reading just gonna is go for ahead you. and look at the card that was selected with your spread from the Angels and Ancestors deck. And let's see what card first let's see what the card is from. And the card I have for you from this deck is the shaman trust in higher forces okay I'm gonna read a little bit from this for you I like to just keep to maintain the integrity of the, the meaning trusting your angels guides and ancestors if you have given your power away claim it back so that goes to me back to those childhood issues of trust not being able to trust your um, the adults in your life or trust your teachers but some things went down early in life that caused you not to really trust people which causes you to you know to be a little bit overly sensitive when people say oh, well, why are you a drama queen because you have to look out for yourself and if you in, in exaggerating what's happening in your life or what's going on around you is your way of having your 
your your needs met, your emotional needs, your your physical needs. So it says, um, shamans believed that when there was an illness or disease, it was because a person's power had been left behind somewhere or a negative pattern, a negative pattern had installed itself in them. In trance, they would travel, uh, let me just skip that because it's talking about traveling to the other world, but I want to just get to the message of what the card is. Um, there are spiritual allies working in your favor and their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust. And that is where the childhood card about, um, let me just pull it up real quick. Your relationship with money is rooted in your childhood. When we talk about money, we're talking about your um, abundance. We're talking about resources. We're talking about, you know, we're, we're talking about the things you need to survive. And it said it's rooted in your childhood, which leads me to believe that there are some issues with your ability to trust because that happens actually in the, the root chakra in the first few years of life. So your ability to trust other people to um, accommodate your needs and give you what you need to be healthy and happy consistently. Like people maybe have let you down, you know, um, in the past when you were young. So it says, so call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles you deserve. Hand over all of your concerns to your spiritual allies. When you do so, you allow them to send you intuitive guidance and messages that will allow you to correct the situation and come out on top. The shaman card also shows you that you have shamanic potential to move between the realms and connect with your guys in an extremely personal way. So what they're telling you is that yes, you you may have had some problems. In, I'm just gonna, I'm saying it, in your childhood, but there is an unseen world. There, are your angels, your ancestors who are rooting for you, who want to help you reestablish your trust. And once you know that there are beings on your side who are trying to help you, you don't have to overreact to external stimuli like you don't have to you know look for attention or over exaggerate or to pretend you know or be a perfectionist because your inner what i'm picking up from your reading is that your inner drama queen is just like look i am looking for something new i'm looking for is she, she i think she wants to break out of the pattern of overly reacting to situations she wants to she wants to be original she doesn't want she doesn't want to stick in the same old pattern of you know how sometimes people always know how you're gonna respond if you tell a person something you know they're gonna blow up she's saying look I'm tired of being that person so I have another card for you from the um, magic of flowers Oracle deck and I want to see which card we pull, which is spread. First, I'm just going to show you the card. And the card that we have is, what is this? It says Crocus. Never heard of a child, but we got to read about it. Mm. So it says, um, when your emotions, desires, or stress levels are burning hot, it can be different it can be difficult to draw upon the gentle warmth of happiness the tepid neutrality of reason or the calm coolness of clarity now is the time to take a step back and extinguish any raging fires on the internal plane before you take any action on the external so it's saying exactly what we're talking about some of those childhood issues or some whatever is bothering you let's Let's chill out. Let's get grounded. Let's get rooted. Let's meditate. Let's kind of remove some of this energy so that we can be an original person and not respond to in old ways that no longer serve us. Um, take a moment to close your eyes. Take some deep conscious breaths. Relax your muscles and visualize a crocus flower bursting forth from the cold snowy ground. Now put yourself in the flower's place. Feel the ice all around you as you calmly radiate your beauty and draw upon your deep wellspring of confident inner knowing. Sometimes we have difficulty cooling down when it comes to stress or emotions because we refuse to acknowledge or honor our feelings. Then, rather than running their natural course, these feelings fester and grow over time. 
the childhood stuff, right? That's why this card might also signify a need to look within and discover any feelings that we've been judging so that we can feel them fully and then let them go. Simply admitting that we're stressed out about something or that we're feeling angry or sad because of something that happened in the past can be a huge release and relief, especially when we take the time to allow for the full realization and actualization of these feelings once we've become aware of them. Again, we're talking about those childhood issues, child. And even though we're using the term money, we're really talking about trust and survival and having our needs met. So don't make any rash moves. Do nothing until you, you're calm and centered until you've calmed and centered your mind and then and only then proceed with neutrality and clarity. Relax and take it easy. Take steps to minimize the negative effects of stress in your life. Go on a retreat. She said do yoga, get a massage. Basically, your inner drama queen is like, look dude, we are I am exhausted. I've been beating this path. I've been looking out for us since our childhood, you know, and I feel like overreacting has really stressed me out and has not gotten me all the things I want in my life and I want to find a new way to exist I want to be an original person not a person who's beating the old pattern and the cars are saying you can do it because anything is possible and it's just giving you suggestions in terms of meditating and doing yoga exercising you know as a means to ground yourself so that you can become a new person and your drama queen can just like, you know, your inner drama queen can chill out because the cars are saying she's really tired. I also have a message for you from your star alien being. Is there an additional message for this person from their inner drama queen? Thank you so much. So I am going to listen for an additional message for you. You are not the only one. Sometimes you feel that you are the only one, the only person who is truly concerned about your well-being. But there are so many beings, angels, ancestors who are on your side, who are rooting for you, who wish you well. Many things have not worked out in the way that you thought they should work out. But the reason so many things have not worked out for you is because of the vibrational levels, the lower vibrational levels that you are vibrating and you are attracting the frequency that you are sending out into the universe. The most important thing that we want you to do is work on increasing your vibrational le levels so that you can change your luck and change the people that you attract in your life. The best way to do this is first by meditating and you may also go to your local park and walk amongst the largest trees that you can find. Stand barefoot on the ground and allow the earth to cleanse your spirit. Do this every day. As your vibration starts to increase, you will notice that you will not respond to events and issues and people as you did in the past. You will be calmer and many things will just simply go by you. You will not be interested. People will notice these very big changes in your personality. Over time, you will see that many good blessings will come to your life. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.